Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Monday, March the 13th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in gorgeous Kitimat, British Columbia. And I'm saying gorgeous because it's a truly gorgeous day today as I record this from my office there in the church, which is so generously and graciously provided by the congregation of Kitimat First Baptist Church. We are in the season of Lent, and this is the Monday after the third Sunday in Lent, and we are reading the scriptures that are chosen for this day, year A, of the three-year cycle uh, in the Revised Common Lectionary. Today we have a psalm, a new psalm. The psalms alternate and are repeated for a few days. The change days are usually on the Monday and on the Thursday. So we have a psalm, Psalm 81. Uh, then a reading from Genesis, and then a reading from, actually we're going to read the entire letter, Second John. Um, I just want to mention for the uh, sake of those listening, that the word Selah appears at the end of verse 7 in the, um, in the psalm that I'm about to read. And Selah is not meant to be read aloud, it is a uh, notation, a command to pause. And so those who know this and read or sing or chant the psalm, take a moment at that time to pause, and I shall do the same. So to begin, Psalm 81. To the choir master, according to the Gittith of Asaph, sing aloud to God our strength. Shout for joy to the God of Jacob. Raise a song, sound the tambourine, the sweet lyre with the harp. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, at the full moon on a feast day. For it is a statute for Israel, a rule of the God of Jacob. He made it a decree in Joseph when he went out over the land of Egypt. I hear a language I had not known. I relieved your shoulders of the burden. Your hands were freed from the basket. In distress you called and I delivered you. I answered you in the secret place of thunder. I tested you at the waters of Meribah. Hear, O my people, while I admonish you, O Israel, if you would but listen to me. There shall be no strange God among you. You shall not bow down to a foreign God. I am the Lord your God, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people did not listen to my voice. Israel would not submit to me. So I gave them over to their stubborn hearts to follow their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their foes. Those who hate the Lord would cringe toward him and their fate would, be, would last forever. But he would feed you with the finest of the wheat And with the honey from the rock, I would satisfy you. Our reading from the New Testament comes uh, to us as the second letter of of the disciple John, the Apostle John. We read it in its entirety. The elder to the elect lady of her children, whom I love in truth, and not only I, but also to all who know the truth, because of the of the truth that abides in us and will be with us forever. Grace, mercy, and peace be with us from God the Father and from Christ, Jesus Christ the Father's Son in truth and love. I rejoiced greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth just as we were commanded by the Father. And now I ask you, dear lady, not as though I were writing you a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this love, that we walk according to his commandments, this is the commandment, just as you have heard from the beginning, 
so that you should walk in it. For many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not confess the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh. Such a one is the deceiver and the antichrist. Watch yourselves, so that you may not lose what we have worked for, but may win a full reward. Everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive that person into your house or give that person any greeting. For whoever greets that person takes part in their wicked works. Though I have much to write to you, I would rather not use paper and ink. Instead, I hope to come to you and talk face to face, so that our joy may be made complete. The children of your elect sister greet you. This is your eternal word, Almighty Father God. May you be praised for the generous provision of it to us, and may you grant that we become a people that go far beyond merely hearing or reading your word, but become people who carry your word in our minds, in our hearts, in our very souls, wherein it works in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your glory always, in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Dear friends, I commend you for spending a few moments listening to the word of God. Uh, I have recorded the scriptures for you in the description portion of this video so that you may read them as well and ponder them and let them work deep into you where they will do God's will in your life. Until we are able to be together again, and for you I pray that will be tomorrow, to hear scriptures chosen for the day, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom. Shalom.